Hello and welcome. In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you how to use wireless mics with the Rodecaster Pro 2. My name is Cree and in this channel, I talk about the tech I use for my video production services and I also talk about the context so that you can see how I use this tech in everyday video projects. And today I'm going to talk about how to use a wireless mic system and uh, pair it with the Rodecaster Pro 2. I use this setup when I'm doing live streams for clients and then also whenever I'm doing podcast interviews that do require a wireless mic setup. Now, if you've been following the recent news coming out of Rode, you know that they have a firmware update. It's currently in beta and you're going to have the ability to connect your microphone or your transmitter directly to your Rodecaster Pro 2. Now that's only going to work if you have a Rode Wireless Go 2 system or if you have the new Rode Wireless Me system. So if you have any other type of wireless mic system like the DJI mic or even the original Rode wireless system, um, then there is still a way to connect wirelessly. So let's hop in and I'll show you how that works. In order to make this work, you're going to need some sort of a wireless mic system. This could be the DJI mic system. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the original Rhodes so that you can see how this works. You'll want your TRS to TRS cable. And then also I'll put a link in the description for this adapter. It's a 3.5 millimeter adapter and it's going to plug right into an XLR input. So let's go ahead and go to the back of the Rode Caster Pro 2 and I'll show you how to plug all this in. On the back of the Rode Wireless Go 2, I am using the Mic 1 input for the Shure SM7B to record this video. I'm gonna go ahead and place this into input two. So I'm just gonna take the XLR portion, I'm gonna place it in the back here, see if I can find the, there we go. Take this TRS cable, I'll plug that in next. And then I'm going to take the receiver. This typically goes um, on the top of your camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right there. If you're plugging in multiple wireless mics into the back of the Rode Wireless Go 2, I have found that if those receivers are touching each other, you will uh, experience some interference. Now I've only worked with the DJI mic system and the Rode wireless system for this setup. And all I do is I just make sure that those receivers aren't touching each other on the back here and I'm all set to go. Before this mic setup will work, we do need to hop into the settings of the Rodecaster Pro 2. In mic one, you can see that that mic is just set up in the default setting to the Shure SM7B. Um, in order to get this wireless mic working, you do need to press on whatever input you plugged the mic into and we plugged it into mic input two. We wanna go here and we're actually gonna select the line in option. Now you'll notice right now it's at zero dB. So first things first, let's go ahead and pump these up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and you can hear. So now you can see I'm talking into the Rode wireless system into the microphone and you can see those levels are starting to come in. So we'll put the slider up to default, which is Unity, and now we will be good to go. In addition to plugging your receiver into the back of the Rodecaster Pro 2 and making sure that your Rodecaster Pro 2 settings are set to line in, you wanna make sure that both the transmitter and the receiver are on. I have the transmitter on right now. I have the microphone hooked to my shirt and right now you are listening to the Rode Wireless Go, the original Rode Wireless Go um, being wirelessly transferred to the Rodecaster Pro 2 and I can go ahead and use that mic input for live streams or for recording podcasts. There have been multiple instances where I've used this wireless setup. It's worked fantastic every single time. Uh, one example, as I've already mentioned, our live streams. If you have a speaker who's walking around, you can go ahead and clip that microphone directly to their shirt and then they're good to go. You also have full control over their volume level right here on your Rodecaster Pro 2. Uh, the other thing I do is I set up a wireless mic for the audience. So it's basically a second wireless setup. 
I put it into a microphone and then what we do is if anybody in the audience has a question or wants to say something, we pass that microphone around. This is important for live streams so that anybody who's tuning into the live stream can hear everybody loud and clear. And then also at the end of the live stream, you have this recording. It has all the audio of what everybody's saying and doing during the live stream. And again, you have full control of those volume levels. So if nobody's using that microphone that you're passing around, you just go ahead and turn that slider off so that that isn't collecting and or projecting any sound. And then same with if the speaker needs a break or if they're using the restroom or eating lunch, you can go ahead and turn their audio down as well so that none of that is getting recorded, captured, or broadcast in a live stream. The other instance where I use this setup all the time is if um, I'm doing some sort of a podcast or a video podcast recording and carrying around four large size mics like this uh, gets a little cumbersome. It gets heavy. There's a lot of equipment. So I actually use the wireless system to help pare that down. The Rodecaster Pro 2 is, it's pretty large in size. And so carrying that around is is uh, it takes up a lot of space anyways. And then once you add microphones to that, it's a ton of equipment. So I do use the wireless mic system to pare those circumstances down so that when I arrive, everybody gets a microphone. I just wirelessly connect to the Rodecaster Pro 2. I always uh, monitor that audio and then I'm good to go. So that is how I use wireless mic systems with the Rodecaster Pro 2. I appreciate you tuning in if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. I'll be putting out weekly tech tips that have to do with video production every week. And uh, thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you in the next video.